Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. The ladies of Escape cannot seem to get an understanding, or at least that's what Latasha Scott is saying. The four ladies showed up to the BET Soul Train Awards dressed alike, all except for Latasha. And baby, when I tell you she was giving me David Ruffin vibes, y'all remember when David Ruffin showed up in that green suit and stormed on stage and everybody behind him was wearing... Darn, was they wearing silver too? I feel someone was being petty. Y'all cannot tell me that this was a coincidence. It's giving very much, I'm Latasha and this is my group, Escape. We are going to get into this tea and so much more, but before we do, please be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any of this tea. Now let's get back into it. Now the group that claims to need an understanding is now asking for one amongst the group members. Latasha Scott and Candy Burris are going head to head. And while this won't be the first time that the two have had a fallen out, we definitely thought that things had improved between the two. As I said, the ladies showed up at the 2022 BET Soul Train Awards and the looks seemed pretty cohesive amongst the three ladies. One lady stuck out like a sore thumb and it had many fans thinking, is everything okay? Did she do this intentionally? Now the ladies of Escape have not been getting along. Latasha Scott has actually decided to distance herself away from all of the ladies, including her sister Tamika Scott. Now, although she's distanced herself from the group, she was not going to miss the BET Awards because all of the ladies of Escape were being honored for the Lady of Soul Award. Now let's get into why these ladies are even beefing to begin with and it might explain why she wasn't dressed like the other ladies. So the ladies filmed a new show for Bravo which comes out in March. You know they had another show before with Mona Scott Young, it did okay. But this new show again comes out in March and issues between the ladies came once they decided to go on tour together. All four ladies were set to go on tour. However, Latasha's husband fell out with a promoter and Latasha was like, hey y'all, my husband is not vibing with this guy. Let's just not use him. The ladies was like, that's your man's problem, not ours. Latasha was like, okay, cool. Well, I'm out. The girls was like, okay, bye. Tasha asked the ladies not to use the name Escape. Now y'all remember when Candy left the group, Candy would not allow the ladies to use the name Escape. They had to go by Escape 3. But I guess Candy has some pull that Latasha must not have because the ladies are still going with Escape and it doesn't seem like anything is happening because of it. Then all of the ladies, not including Latasha, went to Nelly's 60s theme birthday bash dressed as the Supreme. Tasha said, okay, I'm gonna sit this one out too, I guess. They even said Tasha and her sister Tamika aren't even on speaking terms right now. So that's the beef. Let's get into this David Ruffin and the Temptations outfit fiasco. So yesterday, Candy took to Instagram and she posted a video of her and the other three ladies of Escape and she said, Lady of Soul winners, it's a blessing to still be here. Thank you to all of our supporters. Love y'all. Make sure to watch the Soul Train Awards. On November 26th, me and my girls performed. Don't miss so, it. So, of course, there were mixed reviews in the comments. Everyone was trying to figure out why was Latasha not dressed like the other ladies. A lady by the name of Latisse777 said maybe Latasha didn't know the dress code of what the other ladies planned on wearing. Maybe she honestly didn't know. Did you all think of that? And she is not required to dress like the other ladies. None of them had to dress similar. This is a celebration of escape as artists, their longevity, and their incredible music, not about how they're dressed. Latasha said, thank you, because they didn't tell me anything. It's more to this than people know. Candy said, the only thing people need to know is that you chose to have a separate stylist from the rest of the group. You choose to separate yourself. Do not blame us for that. Stop continuing to put out false narratives. Then Latasha's stylist, John the Stylist, decided to post his communication with Latasha regarding the outfit. And he said, what's the color scheme for the carpet? She said, no scheme. I would just say no black, just solid color. I think just glamorous and long. He says, I was just thinking cohesive picture, but gotcha. 
it will be a gown of some sort. Then, of course, we get this long, beautiful green gown, and I actually like her gown better than the other ladies. However, it does show that there is some kind of tension between the group, and I don't like it. And a lot of people are like, well, she has a sister. Her sister's in the group. You mean to tell me her sister didn't tell her? Child, her sister and her are not even talking right now. I guess when you have two different stylists amongst the group, the stylists kind of need to talk to each other to make sure the looks look cohesive, because right now, it's very much given day David Ruffin and the Temptation. A lot of mixed emotions in Candy's comments. Candy decided to cut off the comments altogether, pretty much saying, I said what I said. Y'all know how Candy talk. As of this video, Candy and Latasha are no longer following one another on Instagram. And the last video that Candy did post, she did not tag Latasha. So about a week ago, Latasha did take to her Instagram page and she posted a picture of herself, her mother, and her sister Tamika Scott. And she said, today I thank my mother, Gloria McFarland, and my sister, the real Tamika Scott. With family, you don't always get along or agree on everything, but the love that we share could never be duplicated nor replaced. Looking back, I realized what we had to endure to get to where we are today, and I appreciate you, Mama G, for showing us unconditional love. Now, I know who I am and whose I am, a child of the king. No matter what forces may come against us, you've taught us to stick together and operate with love because love conquers all. As I celebrate my family, I pray that everyone can celebrate theirs as well. Happy Friday. In other words, sis, why you over there chilling with the ops? You supposed to be my sister. Love conquers all. Don't let that little chump change get in your way. I'm your sister. You supposed to ride for me. You got me over here. Darn, y'all, I done got all into it, didn't I can I? tell that Latasha is very crushed because this is her sister, and your sister is siding with these two other women, one of which wasn't even cool with y'all a few years ago. So I can understand where she's coming from. However, sometimes business gets mixed in with family, and it doesn't work the way we want it to. So a lot of people are questioning whether Latasha is still in the group escape. Latasha says she has not left the group. She's just taking a break. However, I'm not sure if this whole wardrobe fiasco will cause tension or more tension within the group i guess we will have to see and then like reality shows now that this reality show is coming out in march when they see the behind the scene things that the girls have said between each other it may cause even more tension so who's to say if escape will go back to the fore but i always felt like latasha had the lead vocals in the group it's going to probably sound different without her however i know they will probably deal what i need to do is hear from you what do you think about all of this mess going on with escape do you feel like the outfit mix up was something intentional on candy and the girls or do you feel like latasha she just wanted to come in with her own look leave a comment and you know how we do we'll talk about it down below talk to you guys later bye as always thanks for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that like button and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes